Howdy ho, good people. Today, uh, what we're going to do here is, so you get a crack right here. Look at this crack right here. We got a uh, sad patio, an AC sitting next to the garage. We have a crack running. I mean, it goes all the way down there. Got some piers here, and even out, out to here. Um, so today we're going to show you, oh, I know you're freaking out. I'm going to have to get this whole new, uh, whole new uh, side patio here. No, you will do not. It's a very uh, pretty simple process. Just a couple tools. First step I'll go through real quick is prep. The prep is easy, simple, quick. She went through into the hose and blew out any debris that's under here. Now if you do that, you need to wait probably a day or two to make sure it dries. And then the second thing I'm going to do is my... Uh, this is what I'm looking for. You know what this is. Blower, if you will. Um, so, and I'm just gonna blow it out. So we're gonna blow out any debris that's underneath there. That should make sure it's nice and clean for us. Two simple things you can do, or you can just do one of the two. Uh, it really doesn't matter, to be honest with you. So now, let's head inside and see the simple, you know, like 15, 20 dollars worth of uh, stuff we need to do this. Okay, simple. You just need a couple of tools for this. So, uh, tools. Uh, ingredients, if you will. So all we're going to do is we're going to pack it in with backer rod and then we are going to um, seal it with some caulk. Self-leveling, preferably. So, Aspen Home Depot, backer rod. Get what gap. Um, example, that's pretty close to an inch out there. So I'm probably going to this is what it looks like out. I'm probably going to double mine up. So you're going to take your backer rod, pack it in there to bring it closer to the surface, if you will, for your um, caulk to go into. Now this is, what I have here is from Sika. Sika? Eh. Um, and it's Crack Flex Sealant. I don't know if we can get a look at that. And this should be pretty self-leveling. It goes up to one inch, it says. Should be good. Um, but this stuff is golden. It's gray, so it kind of matches somewhat. Okay, so let's give you a quick tutorial of this backer rod <laughs> and what to do with it here. So there's three ways um, that I would recommend doing this. So the first one, which is probably what gonna be, what's gonna be most of y'all are gonna have, is that you can find a length, a uh, quarter inch, half inch, five eighths inch, of a backer rod that can fit in your gap, however big your gap is. Gap is half inch. You can just fit it right in there. That's all you have to do. Push it in there, you know, put it down about a quarter of an inch maybe below the surface so you can cock over it. But there you go, it's nice and snug, perfect. That's probably what most of y'all are gonna be able to do. If you have a bigger one, so that you can't find, you have about an inch and you can't find something an inch, you can get a half inch and you can either, second option, uh, twist it like so. Um, and fit it in the gap if you need to you know, if you need extra space the problem with that is if you twist it you're gonna have little ridges like right here um, where water can still or where the cock can still get through so if you're going to into a deep place that has a, a lot underneath it like a thick slab then that may not be a good method third option if you need something wider which I would probably recommend between your house and your stupid slab is you can tape it like so. So you can tape it and fit it snugly in there and then that way there will be no gaps. That's just a quick video because I'm about to be filming from the side so you can kind of get an idea and it really is what you need. Um, in there about a quarter inch deep and then cock over it. Snap. I'm start down yonder, flip my way up. I'm just trying to get them to where they're snug up in here. Because you don't want to have any gaps. And then push it down a little bit. Just below the surface. Quarter inch, half inch. Okay. So here's our backer rod in here. And I'll push this down just a smidge. Just to where I can cock on top of it. And now it's time to cock. Alright, cock in hand and we are ready. For me down on this end, I'm putting a little brick. Uh, something 
in the way just to help the concrete or this caulk not flow out to keep it right on the corner there. So. So as we can see, we're just jamming this stuff in there and it self levels essentially. So you can tell, I mean, I just put it in chunks and it is self leveling. So it comes out smooth, so we're gonna keep rolling. Okay, so we rolled doobies all down this line. All right, gang, so um, uh, we got this all done here. What I did, you know, went, went over it once, went over it again just to kind of get it smooth um, or, you know, bring it up to level if you need to. Um, wow. So here you go, up and down. I didn't have to brush it or anything like that. It's all smooth. A uh, little bit of cleanup to do, but all in all, easy, pretty quick doesn't cost that much money uh, just put the becker rod in uh, put your um, cement caulk over it and boom that's it so don't get all worked up about it about having a crack because it ain't no big deal obviously you know it's not something that's going to cost you thousands just a few good luck